The 2009 Foster G. McGaw Prize is proudly presented by the Baxter International Foundation, the Cardinal Health Foundation, the Health Research and Educational Trust, and the American Hospital Association. have a hospital and an integrated system of this size in a town of this size in an area uh, of, of this scope is very unusual. The key is to think deeply about the needs of your community, to engage the community in any way that works and, and truly mean that and sustain those relationships, build the trust that's necessary over the long haul. We believe that healthy people lower health care costs for everyone. And in the community, our obesity rates are higher than state and national average. Our inactivity rates are lower than state and national average. We smoke more, we have higher blood pressure, and so we were looking at a way to develop a fund program that would address those very serious issues. If it wasn't for the pound plunge, I probably would still be 150 pounds heavier and not as healthy as what I am today. At first, I thought, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, keeping it off, but then I made it more of a lifestyle than just a 12-week competition. What we're talking about is a lifelong change and making those changes again to benefit your individual health and the health of the community. The CDC had said if you don't do something to turn around uh, children's health, around exercise and nutrition, we were going to have the first generation not to outlive their parents. And so we knew it was a startling fact that we had to answer the call. Hi, tell them what it was like running this vest. It was hard, heavy, and painful. These are kids who buy their nutrition at the gas station and who live in areas where there is very little grass to be had. And so to bring nutrition and um, healthy lifestyle exercise into the school, for a lot of our kids is their only opportunity to experience those kinds of things. I learned that if we keep on, if I keep on eating the foods that I'm eating, that I will end up carrying 20 more pounds of my weight or even more, and I don't think it's gonna be very easy. If we can see the fourth grade challenge as really an opportunity for prevention, it is not about waiting until people get ill, and it's about Heartland coming out and, and leaving the hospital and saying, I can help you with this. I'll be your partner. If we can't think uh, far enough ahead to figure out how the, the generations following us, the next two or three, are going to change, then we're missing the point. I was with Century City uh, Purple Team. We had too many homeless, so we're, we've been trying to raise money to make shelters, just something any good person would do for a homeless person. To take that, where the kids are coming in here with nothing, and in a matter of hours, they are given an issue, and they have to come to a consensus, an opinion, that all of them have to agree on, in terms of if they're for or against it, research, create a presentation, deliver that presentation, and it is amazing to watch what these kids are able to do. We came up with a theater and a fire station were going to go out of business, so we decided that maybe we could have those uh, put into just a homeless shelters, a homeless kitchen, and we could uh, also a medical station within the uh, facilities. Before we send them out of here, we tell them, now that you have a taste of what it's like to argue before adults and to voice your own opinion before adults, make yourself be heard. Do something with that. Make a difference within your own community. The curriculum isn't about medicine. It's about your character. It's about investing in the community. It's about being a valuable part of the community, even if you're in junior high school, and how you can make a difference. We started working with the Heartland Foundation 
and we wanted to do something where we could help the less fortunate population of St. Joseph. Our project name is RAW, which stands for Realizing Accessible Health Care. And um, on Tuesdays of every month, we go out and we provide homeless with the access of health care for free. In the first day that we were here, we were able to admit 30 new patients into the system. And so it's just, we've been able to get a lot more people under the system and on their way to having health care. If our kids today begin to see the possibility that for their future, if uh, we can inspire them to uh, make a difference and to begin to make healthy choices, then those young people are more likely to develop um, a caring attitude and grow up to be healthy and productive citizens. The Foster McGaw Prize is all about excellence in community service and the collaborations that make it happen. And Heartland Health is an excellent example of how one organization has made a difference in the community it serves. So congratulations to Heartland Health and all the 2009 finalists for leading the way to a healthier America. We're proud of you. Congratulations to the 2009 winner, Heartland Health, St. Joseph, Missouri. We also honor the finalists, Allegiant Health, Omaha, Nebraska, Lancaster General Health, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, St. Vincent Health, Indianapolis, Indiana.